all in little common stories. <clears throat> I'm here with Carolyn Carter, and we're having a lot of fun up here in Mountain View, Arkansas. And she is a what do you call it? Country folk. When you no, call I'm it? I'm a folk. Folk, folk singer. Folk and gospel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you consider folk? How do you how would you describe it? Folk music uh, was the original music that came across the uh, ocean with our ancestors. Landed in the Appalachian Mountains, came down through the hills of Tennessee into the Ozarks. And folk music, if it's described correctly, was music that the words were not written down because people couldn't write. And words changed from song to song, generation to generation, family to family. And um, then when, the, uh, when we started writing our folk music down, um, we, um, we just continued to call it folk music. A lot of people call um, the folk music love songs. But they weren't love songs, they were songs of sorrow because of the hard times they went through, but they still called them love songs, suicide, murder, it didn't matter, they called them love songs. That's right. Yeah. So uh, I'm a, I write ballads, and ballads are stories uh, of the mountains and the lives of the mountain people. And this song is, the one we're working on is? Mother's Prayer. Okay, and that is? Mother's Prayer, I was inspired to write Mother's Prayer. For five years, I ran the uh, Stone County Mules on Wheels program, oh. and uh, I got to know many of our homebound clients right. out, out in the hollers and the hills. Right. We delivered meals to them. And this was a, a lady who lived alone in a big, beautiful old home, and she had many, many possessions, and her children didn't want any of them. And her prayer was that someday her and all her children would be together. Yeah. So, that's what, so that was what it's about, huh? And you know, and she had all these awesome things in there. Awesome things. And her kids. Nobody wanted them. How many kids did she have? Well, I don't re rightly recall. But it was maybe. enough that some of them should have loved them, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's strange that they didn't want anything of their, their mouth. I mean, I mean, we all got, my mom moved out, you know, I think the last couple of years from the nursing home, of course, she's 97, yeah. 98 to 98. But we all wanted something, mm -hmm. at least the pictures, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they want a little something. Yeah. She collected things for 85 years wow. from all her travels and it just kind of broke her heart that yeah. nobody wanted them. Did you get any of them? Did you, did no, you give any? No, she, uh, she did not. She did give us a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> she, oh, you know, that's just always a gift that, she, that sometimes uh, is wonderful. <laughs> she took care of, and still does of all the stray dogs and cats. So <laughs> we did end up with a puppy. Oh, wow. And how's that dog now? Well, I believe that dog ran away. <laughs> oh, it's one of the we ones that on decide, yeah. decide it was... It could, it could, freedom was much free, more important. Free indeed. Wow, that's, that's nice to say. It's just sort of like a motel more than a house for animals. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, come come she stay did. a while and, and go on your journey. Yeah, she, she rescued him. So, she had all this. Did she, did she die now? No, she's still, still living. Alive. So she's still gathering. And she still has all that wonderful things. She you know. does. She still has all those wonderful things. She's trying to write a book by, she can't see anymore. So she's reporting herself, oh. her memories and, and things. So she still is staying very active. Uh, she can't get around very good anymore, but her mind is, is active. Okay. And, and that's, that's your model for, for this wonderful song. It is. So. Introduce your song. Uh, Mother's Prayer is the name of this song, and I hope you enjoy it. 